Welcome to the Engineering Hall. My name is Amy, and today I'm going to show you around the Zava Lab. Let me put on the mask. Come on, let's go. and across the hallway, this is our office. Let's check it out. Welcome everyone to the Savala Lab. My name is Joshua. Great to welcome you today. This is our lab in all its glory. As you can see, everyone's working at home because of COVID with all their equipment. But let's go ahead and see a little bit of the lab. So here's some desks here. And if we now teleport, we can see this other side of the lab with the refrigerator and the microwave. And with that, back to Josh's house. Thank you, Office Josh. I'm Home Josh, and welcome to my pandemic setup using equipment from the office. And with that, back to you, Amy. In Savile Lab, we explore data science in the context of chemical engineering. Data science is the combination of math and computer science to extract meaningful insights from data in support of tackling real-world problems. We start with the initial data, which can be in various forms, such as spreadsheet entries, images, text documents, molecules, and videos. And we also have the data processing component to convert the raw data into meaningful representations. And through statistical analysis, modeling, and interpretation, we want to solve problems and understand the fundamental science better. In our group, we collaborate a lot with the experimental groups, and we work with datasets such as liquid crystal images, in videos, surfactant molecules with molecular dynamics simulations, and synthetic datasets. We have the application side where we build machine learning models for sensing and predictions. And we also have the theoretical side where we explore novel data representation and analysis methods, such as topological data analysis. We also combine the research in data science and optimization, which Josh will talk about. Thanks, Amy. Now let's talk about optimization and control. Great question. It's the mathematics of decision-making when we have decisions to make, an objective that rates those candidate decisions, the model of our system, restrictions placed on it, and all of this culminates to solve challenging problems. A lot, but we can categorize them under large-scale systems, optimization under uncertainty, control estimation and design, and of course, data-driven optimization. The answer is yes. Our group has a wide focus ranging from theoretical math to innovative software to challenging engineering problems. Well, we model problems and develop and implement them using the Julia programming language, such as my COVID-19 model you see here, and when we solve it, we can see the optimal social distancing policy as shown in this graph. Thank you, Josh. So let's talk a little bit about our group. Currently, we have 14 PhD students and one postdoctorate associate working in our lab. I've really been enjoying working with them. What do you think, Josh? Thanks, Amy. I also really love working in this group. One of the things I think that sets us apart is the emphasis on what is best for us, the grad students, and how that is reflected in our work-life balance, and also the opportunities we get such as internships and conferences to build and propel our careers forward. But you don't have to take our word for it. Let's see what the other group members have to say. David added he is very impressed by the friendliness of everyone in the lab, and there is a mutual desire to help each other succeed. Delara commented that our group has a diverse and inclusive culture that helps to grow both personally and academically. And just a mention, quote unquote, we have very nice and humorous group members. Bruce also highlighted that in a non-pandemic world, we love to go out and have lunch together all the time, especially on Fridays, 
and that all in all, he feels welcomed, respected, and valued. So as I said, our environment encourages us to pursue our own curiosity and explore new avenues of discovery. What he enjoys at this lab gives him the chance to explore literally anything in computing and engineering. And Ichin feels very lucky to be with his talented and collaborative friends. Well, I hope you all enjoyed visiting our lab today. We would be happy to help you learn more, so please visit our website shown here and reach out to us with any questions you might have. Good luck deciding.